All right, so we're doing a Charmy season two, actually on Canada build video. Uh, very interesting that she's season two, but I don't mind it. I mean, you know, he's getting pushed back. Uh, he has the best drip. Like style wise, he probably looks the best, but definitely not the best. She is definitely better than you know. Uh, so I guess that's a pretty good thing for people summoning on the season two banner. Now, um, what's good with her? is that obviously best healer does really good support so she's going to be a very toxic unit but also in terms of meta wise i think she'll be able to kind of balance out noel a slight bit more but we'll talk about that a little bit more and see how she works in the noel meta when it's out because obviously uh charmy came out like a bit later um like a month later so it was like a bit different uh than how it was right away like you know that's definitely something i want to check Charmy's a very good healer and she's going to be able to have separate gear sets that will never have to be really intertwined or interchanged with anyone else so that's pretty good um let's start going into her skills and to do so we're going to go on pride win because we don't have the english translations but i do want to make sure that you guys get the um correct information so uh she's a healer she's a continuous hp healer who is based off of her max hp her max hp right uh, so she's gonna give a continuous HP on skill one, skill two, and ultimate. Now, on her skill two and ultimate it is AOE, right? It is AOE. And what she does cool is that on her skill one, she has a chance to grant said ally uh, that she heals, a forty-five percent, forty-five percent chance to grant an extra special point, and on ultimate, she has a chance to grant all allies forty-five percent, forty-five percent chance to grant everyone a special point plus one, which is very good. Special points are very useful, and if you could get it quicker by one, I mean, hey, that's one turn quicker to get your ultimate again, which is very nice. Now, the continuous HP recovery is very good overall. I mean, 4.5% up to 10.5 is insane. And then this going up to 20% of her max HP gets quite crazy when you can see like she has over like 150, 160K HP. So if we really, let's say 160K, right? I could see someone easily getting this, especially if they have dupes. So 160K times 0.2, the healing will be 32,000 for two turns. A DPS, if we really check it, a DPS, actually, no, I'm going to go in game. It's a lot like more logical if I go in game because we consider gear. A DPS that is built right now, 46,000, 50,000, right? You're getting almost a full heal from just one turn of the uh, like HP recovery. So to me, that is very good, right? Getting a like almost 40K, thir sorry, 32K, I exaggerated a bit, 32K heal. Um, not even considering some other factors that may make it higher, makes it very good. Now, what makes this ultimate good is that she also increases defense level three for two turns. So 175% defense increase, which this in combination with the defense increase, like age, healing for two turns plus defense increase goes ballistic together. Um, getting this defense increase basically solidifies you will not be dying quick. And then getting the heals is just insane. Uh, I really got to say now her skill page isn't that crazy. It just adds crit damage resistance, but she has Dispel DLT, which I mean, I guess could be good, but it, uh, I don't know. It's not that crazy anyway. Now, um, she does get an extra 10% increased max HP. So you got to consider that extra 10% into the actual calculations. I'll probably do the calcs uh, for what my HP should be later. Now she has 104 speed, which is good. One more than DPS. And she has a base or never mind, not a base because this is including dupes, sadly. Uh, but she goes up to 70. 4k basically hp which is good now um let's talk I, I mean i guess we'll we'll count that part as the passive since i did talk about the max hp um but next off if we talk about the do passive at the end of an ally's turn every ally's turn you grant three percent max hp recovery to the ally with the lowest hp and that goes up to ten percent at max dupe that is like you don't understand how crazy it is if like you attack like all the allies attack, right, four in a row, and then, what, like, the lowest person, or the person with the lowest HP gets a 40% heal from Charmy's HP. 10% of Charmy's HP is much higher than 10% of, like, the DPS's HP. Now, what's good, too, is that she gets, like, 1,800 HP per, right, which is very nice, plus a bit of defense, so, like, duping her, I'd say getting her to at least two dupes is recommended to me. I'd say that uh, she is honestly someone who wants dupes more than Noelle. Because I'm telling you, she's going to be annoying up to like season 5, 6, and 7. Because of the fact that every time an ally like does their skill, like uses their skill, she heals the person with like with the lowest amount of HP. And let's okay, okay. Even 3% HP, right? 3%. Uh, let's see, 160,000 times 0 0.03, right? 4,800. And then let's say three of the people attack in a row. That's 14,000 heals. That's like a third of uh, your HP. And let's say it heals. Like, this is like just, if you're not even at, um, 
not even con- sorry I-, I should say not even considering the other um heals you're gonna get because obviously you could have multiple uh stacks of hp recovery going the uh, 20 here plus the 10 here so it's just deal uh dlt continuous healing over and over and over especially with this dupes so i'd say going for two dupes is pretty like it's pretty good and it's a very good banner to summon on all three with dupes are not bad like noelle you don't need dupes but she's very good with dupes so is ghost and now so is charmy so that's very good plus she'll heal more with dupes so to me that is uh quite self-explanatory i'd say going for at least two dupes should be if you're like planning on using her definitely i say go for it i mean definitely not bad now um i want to just talk about her scope h first kind of sucks because it gives her the, uh, reduced damage taken which isn't crazy you'd rather heal the other people more because she is not really dying that quick i think her um defense is pretty high yeah no it's pretty high it's up there it's definitely up there especially when she has higher defense uh than veto like you could definitely say it's up there now the three main ones are these three okay uh this one gives her hp up to 15 percent, which is good sister lilies gives 10 percent hp recovery i'm counting a max because it's an sr and r dupe and this one gives 10 up to 20 percent uh max hp so i'd say one of these three are the ones you should be going for uh for sure now i just want to do a quick little calculation of her total hp so uh actually wait i'll, I'll wait i'll wait till after we're done everything then we're gonna do that so now next up uh, is going to be the talent build. The main thing for sure is just this. So you want to make sure she gets the extra 5% HP. That's mainly it. But except for that, I mean, choose whatever you want up there. And for these two, I chose uh, the skill point when you're under one or when you're at one. And then the 5%, I think, increased healing. Yeah, increased amount of recovery received. And if you do the full slot, you're able to put in an HP uh, talent engravement. So to me, I'd say that's pretty worth it. Uh, mainly just you want to get this. And then you want to maybe fill out the thing to get this. It's pretty, I'd say it's pretty worth it. Um, not really much to go up here, but if you really want to do something, I think she builds off of um, magic attack, I would like to say. Uh, yeah, so she builds off magic attack. So you, you could put magic attack, I guess. You could put uh, these two if you want. But I don't really, I don't really. I mean, CC wise, you know, I'm just going to do it right now. Just because, you know, CC. That's like 700 CC right there. So I'll take it. Uh, now, next up, we're going to go to the, her gear build, which obviously, because she's off of her max HP, you're going to be going full HP. Uh, and I'm getting, what, 52,000 from this. So I'd say going four HP is the best. And with now the rerolling uh, substats, you could try to go for the HP percentages. That's the best. Um, now, as for the best gears, and I would say don't go for the four, uh, four set full HP because it just gives increased uh, rec um, recovery for her, not anyone else, just her. So um it, she doesn't need to heal more it's everyone else that needs to heal more because she's got what <clears throat> 120k hp but we got to consider some other factors so um the best sets i'd say the best three is if you put speed um speed where is it hp and then this this is like if you're on uh kr you could put this in if not you're going to put defense right that's like the two different uh things you're going to be doing mainly uh, so it's really like these four sets that you're going to be putting. The three best are definitely the speed, uh, increased uh, healing amount, and then HP or increased healing amount or defense. Like these two are interchangeable, I'd say. But definitely give her the HP bonus and also the speed bonus because speed bonus is good. It's just I don't have the HP uh, pieces needed. So, you know, this is what we're running and 104 speed is... I could take it. I could definitely take it. Uh, make sure you build full HP, all four of these. And then, of course, these three are just there to kind of give you the two sets. Now... Um, I guess we could talk about how much HP she should be rocking and then give a bit more of a kind of reasonable approach. So right now, my Charmy is at, we'll say 120k because it's 119,400, but I'll just say 120,000. Okay, now we're going to multiply it. Uh, I'm going to, we'll, we'll do it additive because I'm not too sure if it's additive or multiplicative. So this is 15% HP right here. Okay, then this is another uh, 7%, so 22%. And then another 5%. So that's 27%. I would like to say it's multiplicative, but just for the sake of it, we're going to say times 1.27. Oh, 2027. 20, so she's at about 150k HP. If we're if this is like lowballing it, and if it is multiplicative to where what, what multiplicative means is that the 120 k, uh, 120k would be multiplied by uh, the 1.7%, uh, uh, right? The 7%. Then you would multiply it again by um, the, like, let's say the 15%, and then again by the 5% extra, and it would be like at least 5,000 more. So, like, she's rocking with zero dupes, like a pretty decent build, uh, 150k HP. 150k HP will mean that this is healing for 30k pop, like right away, which is really good. Like, 30k just healing like that 
maybe higher is uh, quite good because 150k if we're looking at it times uh, 0.2 that's 30k so you know healing wise she's going to be good the main part is definitely uh this giving her defense alongside the healing goes hand in hand together so you know i'd say that's uh very good now as for teams uh i'm gonna we'll, we'll do like a canada section and then we'll do a kr section but canada wise um if we look at it oh my bad so we, you could definitely put noel noel with charmy is going to be toxic it just kind of speeds up the like defense uh noel meta for sure putting these two together is a very good thing and overall, I'd say that going full defense on this shit is going to be, like, truly toxic. So let me try to find Rodas. All right, and then you're going to save Valtos. Uh, the main reason is, first of all, he has magic attack buff, which he could either apply on Noelle to give her the uh, magic attack buff before she ults, and then she shields right away. Or uh, he speeds everyone up, which is definitely the other way you could use her. He's going to stop buffs, and they both have defense increase, so you got to think about that. They both have defense increase, so you could use... Her defense increase for two turns and then his defensive increase for the other two turns so you could place something like that if you want to put william instead of Valtos, i guess you're gonna get um damage reduction and then you could still play it out but i'd say it's definitely better uh to me i'd say for kr sorry not kr canada this is the best type of team now for jp you could go uh jp kr whatever you could go a lot of different ways so you could go like this um where is where is charlotte i'm trying to find charlotte charlotte's just very good so uh you could go for a team like this where you get silence so they can't use skill two she's gonna get he's gonna give damage reduction turn one he, she's gonna give the uh total defense which means you cannot crit uh, when you have that up and she's gonna give defense increase plus heals so julius is two lives are gonna be pretty much like invincible or you could still go for the noel approach and then like i guess push charlotte i'd say that this team could be pretty good wherever charlotte is uh just imagine that this is charlotte okay so like i'd say that's another good way to put it charmian like pretty much any team comp could work well any blue units and she's going kind of crazy um if i could find charlotte would be nice so like even something like this would go crazy just anything involving full blue teams and like charlotte with uh Char like charlotte charming together and a full blue team goes crazy and then she could also stop damage like there's a lot of ways you could go about it i'm telling you um like just putting any blue units together that are good which is most of them like you could even put mars to stop any debuffs from coming your way goes a long way right uh so yeah no for kr like charmy is even somehow her stonks just get better with more blue units as they release especially because there's no green units that could really kill them now langris is a bit of a counter because uh, he stops heals but charmy still gives the defense increase which is more than enough for her to be a very 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 good unit so i'm really in support of charmy i think that she is a insanely good unit and i just hope that they don't change her kit but for me right now um definitely one of uh my favorite units in terms of how they did her kit very exclusive and only one other person takes hp for their gear so i cannot be mad with that i mean it's just perfect it really is so i'll see you guys in the next one let me know let me know what you guys think peace